Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been way too long, but I have many excuses. <laughs> I have been super duper sick, yes. Basically my entire pregnancy has just been sickness after sickness after sickness, and I've been trying to hold off until I feel better to do this video, but I'm not sure that's gonna happen, so if you can tell by my voice, I still have some sore throat issues, some nasal issues going on. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this video because I filmed a little clips for this and the kids were really excited about this so I want to make sure that I have this video out there. And today we're going to be talking about old wives tales and gender prediction. So. I have this printout that is just something I found on Pinterest. It's from Owlet. I don't know. I will link my Pinterest down below so you guys can check it out. It's in the Oh Baby um, pin board. So um, it just says Old Wives Tales for Gender Prediction. So I'm going to go through them and tell you guys how they pertain to me. I also did do the... I also did do the baking soda test and then a friend of mine had two other tests that she wanted me to do and I did Intelligender. We're gonna get through it. So let's get into these Old Wives Tales gender If your skin is, so this is like based on your skin, if your skin is better than ever or glowing, um, it's a boy and if it's pimply or less clear than usual then it's a girl. And my skin is probably about the same, I haven't really noticed glowing. I'm definitely not glowing. I don't think that my skin is better, but I'm also not breaking out or anything. It's basically the same. So I guess for that one, I'm going to say it's a boy. So this one is with baby's heartbeat. If it's less than 140, then it's a boy. If it's more than 140, it's a girl. Our baby has been mostly at 145. So for that one, I would say it's a girl. Okay, if dad gains weight rather than maintaining or losing weight, it's a boy. If dad maintains or loses weight or gets more fit, it's a girl. So for this one, um, my husband's actually been going through a lot of changes with his diet because of his health. So I don't know if this really pertains to pregnancy, but he has actually been losing weight and getting much more healthy. So in that case, it's a girl. So for based on cravings, if you crave salty foods or meat, then it's a boy. If you create if you crave sweets, then it's a girl. Um, my cravings have kind of just been down the middle. Sometimes I want a hamburger or a steak or sausage, and sometimes I want chocolate ice cream or cheesecake or Starburst or anything like that. So I can't really pick one or the other for this one. So I'm just gonna leave that one alone. This says if you're carrying low, it's a boy. If you're carrying high, it's a girl. And I've definitely been carrying low, so for that one, it's a boy. Okay, it says if your belly's rounder like a basketball, it's a boy. And if it's wider like a watermelon, it's a girl. I would say, um, I was already heavy set, but I would say that my belly is definitely rounder now, like it's rounded itself out. So for that one, it's a boy. It says if you're clumsier than usual, it's a boy, and if you're graceful, it's a girl. I'm always clumsy, but I definitely drop a ton of things now. I've spilled orange juice on myself on the way to work quite a few times, so for this one, I'm going to say it's a boy. If your feet are more cold than usual, it's a boy. If your feet aren't any colder than usual, it's a girl. I have hypothyroidism, so I think this one's a little not unfair because my feet are always cold. I can't imagine them being colder than they always are, so, um, but for this one, I will say girl. So this one's interesting. It says your age of conception added to your month of conception. If it's an odd number, it's a boy. If it's an even number, it's a girl. So, so my age of conception is 29 and the month is 11 because we conceived in November. I'm almost positive. So... That being said, it would be 40, so that's even, so that would be a girl. This one's for sleeping. If you sleep on your left side, it's a boy. If you sleep on your right side, it's a girl. Believe it or not, I'd prefer to sleep on my back or my belly, and I can't sleep on either of the two. 
but um, I think I'm more comfortable sleeping on my left side so we'll say boy okay so it says if your body hair like hair grows quicker and you're hairier it's a boy if it's about the same then it's a girl I would say mine's about the same so we're gonna go with girl and then the last one says that if your face gets rounder it's a girl and if it's long and lean or just the same doesn't change much it's a boy for this one I'm gonna say my face hasn't changed much so we will go with boy so that is that list um, along with that I also did the baking soda test so I will insert a clip here okay so here's our first old wives tale that we're gonna try this is the baking soda test so this is a cup of my urine and this is like two tablespoons of baking soda so the old wives tale is that if it fizzes like a shaken up soda or if it has like a reaction then it's a boy and if it doesn't have a reaction at all then it's a girl so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some of my urine in this glass it's kind of gross and then we'll see what happens It's not reacting. It's bubbling. But, but it's not reacting at the same time. Is it, 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 I mean, do you get so? I just want to show it. Like, it really isn't doing anything. When I first poured it in, it bubbled a little bit. You can see, like, the little bubbles in there. But it doesn't have a reaction. And the old wise tale says that if it fizzes like a shaken up soda, then it's a boy. And if it has, like, no reaction or if it just looks like a beer. <laughs> it's a girl, so it's I'm gonna go with girl. It's a girl for this thing. <laughs> Another um, old wise tale that we tried was my husband put um, two pillows on two chairs and he put a fork under one and a spoon under another. If I sat on the fork, it's a boy. If I sit on the spoon, it's a girl. So here's what happened Bobby. with that one. Don't know. She can say it later. No, you can say it now. All right, so. If it's a spoon, it's a girl, and if it's a fork, it's a boy. So whatever she's going to sit on, that's what it means. So if she sits on the fork, it's going to poke her butt. <laughs> and you know, it is what it is. Um, go get me two forks. <laughs> oh, man. Chairs, right? Uh, no, the other chairs with green pillows. <laughs> Just sit down. Yeah. <laughs> it's a boy in the park. The next one we tried was actually one of my friends that was here that day, that was over the house that day, said, "Ask my husband to show me his hands." So if I showed him the top of my hands like this, then it's a girl. And if I showed him my palms, it's supposed to be like this, um, then it's a boy. And you can see what happened Sorry. here. It's for your channel. Okay. So show me your hands. Just show me your hands. Okay. That's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> show me your hands. I'm showing you my hands. So how does that? That's not even in the option. <laughs> She showed you the palms of her hands. Oh, okay. Why don't we palms. do the fork? So what's that? So I showed him my palms, so it's a boy. And the last one that we tried um, was actually the Intelligender test. And I bought this at CVS Pharmacy. And basically, you have to use first morning urine and follow all the directions. And it has, like, some sort of solution in there. And you, like, swirl it around and then you let it sit. And then you come back and you read it by color and it has the colors on it so you can go ahead and see what my results were. So as you can see, Intelligenter says it's a girl. And the final count is boys 8 and girls 7. Stay tuned for our next video as so you can see our gender reveal and see what we're actually having. What's your guess? Leave it down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.